Praise God. You are welcome once again for this segment, Moment of Restoration from the Evangelical Church of Yahweh, Aruwa Jobe Estates, Mende, Maryland. My name is Pastor Eric Ifainchuku. Today we want to talk about prosperity. Prosperity, prosperity. I believe that everyone with his right mind want to prosper, want to succeed. I want to take my test from the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 26 from verse number 3 to 5. Uzia was 16 years old when he became king and he reigned 52 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was the Kaniah of Jerusalem. And he did what was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah had done. He sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the vision of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosper. God made him prosper. The title of my message is divine prosperity divine prosperity today everyone want to prosper everyone want to succeed everyone want to live in a choice locations in the city everyone want to drive the latest automobile car automobile everyone want to live in affluence everyone want to be prosperous but I want to let us know that, yes, there are many ways to go to market, but there is only one way to go, which is the main road leading to the market. There are many ways people are getting prosperous today. They are succeeding in different ways today. Not considering that there is only one way that you can succeed and prosper, and you will have peace of mind. The Bible tells us that the blessing of God make rich and add no sorrow. If the blessing, the prosperity, and the sources is not of God, then there is an attachment on it. Sorrow is behind it. Today, our youth are engaged in 419. Our youth are engaged in Yahoo Yahoo Plus. Our youth who we refuse to marry a single mother in Nigeria can travel abroad to marry a grandmother just for them to prosper, for them to get dollar, paper. There are a lot of abominable things they get involved just to belong. But thank God we are talking about a young man called Uzia. The Bible says he was 16 years old, young boy. And he, he reigned in, as a king for 50 something years the bible recorded that he did that which was right in the sight of god not that which was right in his sight not that which was right in anybody's sight that which was right in the sight of god have you ever asked yourself the things you are doing the activities you get yourself in are they right in the sight of god are you just doing your own just to succeed, just to prosper, just to make a point. I want to let you know that devil have no free gift. That is why today a young, young people are dying premature. Young people, life are being cut short. Because when devil gives you a gift from the right hand, he takes it away. He takes your life from the left hand. The Bible says that this young man of 16 years did that which was right in the sight of God. The Bible said as much as he, he sought God, God made him to prosper. God made him to prosper. If you want to prosper, you want to succeed in life, you want to be great in life, you must sought for God. You must look for God. You must serve God. The Bible tells us 
in the book of Matthew that when we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, he said, all these things shall be added unto us. The things you are looking for outside the church, outside the kingdom of God, are available in the kingdom of God. Yes, they are available. Every good and perfect gift to come from above. A child of God is entitled to a good life. Jesus said in John 10:10 10, 10, that the thief cometh to kill, to destroy, and to take away. But Jesus said, I have come that I might give you life and give it to you more abundantly. So the only way you will get abundant life, prosperity, and sources, and still have peace of mind is in God. The Bible says he caused him to prosper as much as he sought the Lord. I want to encourage you outside there. I don't know whom you are serving. I don't know the God you are serving. Some are serving the goddess of the God of the rivers. Some are serving the God at the forest. Some are serving the God at the graveyard. But the only way is Jesus Christ. We are in the days of Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. If you follow Jesus, he will make you successful in life. If you follow him, he will make you prosperous in life. He will add every good thing for you. That thing you are looking outside the kingdom of God. He will, when you come in, he will make them available for you. Finally, let me conclude by telling you that the bread is not for the wise, nor food for the intelligent, nor battle for the strong. But time and opportunity happens to them all. Jesus is the only opportunity you have now to succeed and be prosperous in life. So welcome into the kingdom of God. And as you come in, beginning from today, may the light of God begin to shine in your life and in your business. In the mighty name of Jesus. May poverty and lack disappear in the mighty name of Jesus. And if perhaps you don't have Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is an opportunity. I want you to say after me, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Come and be my Lord and personal Savior. Cancel my name in the book of death and write my name in the book of life. And thank you if you have done that, you are now a child of God. Look for a Bible-believing church and begin to serve God and see if He will not prosper you in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. This message is coming to you from God's vineyard, the Evangelical Church of Yahweh, situated at Aruwa Jobe Estate, Mende, Maryland. Remain blessed till we meet again. <laughs>